yo guys it's smart punch i have a lot of people asking me on my stream how do you come to radiance and i have a few tips for them that you might not hear in other videos for my qualifications i am a three-time radiant so i have three different accounts in radiant right now and i have a fourth account in immortal 3 so i do think i have some tips that people might not know my first tip is actually dodging the reason why I say this is because you can dodge twice in a row and only have a three minute ban, then you can play a game and dodge twice again. You should dodge every single time you can't play a character that you're comfortable with. I see a lot of people who flex through roles that they do not play. Trust me, this will only be detrimental to your climbing. You're not good at this role. You'll probably lose and blame your teammates. So in this situation, you might as well dodge instead of flexing. You can also dodge if you see someone who played bad in a previous game. For example, like if a Phoenix went four and 20, you can just dodge if he's on your team, or you can dodge if there's a new map and you're not comfortable on it or whatever reason. Dodging is a really good way to like, make sure you have a higher chance of winning the game that you're queuing into. My next tip would be play like a fucking rat. By that, I mean, Whenever it's a save, whenever you can, literally get a shotgun or something, be a nerd, sit in a corner with a Bucky. I've won so many free rounds because I've gotten multi-kills with judges and Bucky's on saves. It is actually crazy how people just get a deagle or something and play like normal. My next tip is do not be toxic to teammates. I know this might sound like, yeah, everyone says this, but like, dude, people in Valorant are really fucking fragile. I'm being serious. Like, if someone whiffs and you see them whiff, do not say anything. They know they whiffed. Like, just leave it alone. Because if you say something, they're probably going to start throwing or get pissed off. And that's just going to break your team's mentality. And that is not good. A, men a good team mental is one of the biggest factors to winning a game. So make sure you just protect the mental of your team. My next tip is to people who are new to tactical shooters. And this tip is to scrim. Scrimming allows you to get used to the team environment. It allows you to learn from your teammates and learn how to properly play the game at a high level. This will make you improve way faster than just grinding ranked. So I do recommend it. I am proof that scrims do work. I never played a tactical shooter before Valorant. I came from Overwatch. So before ranked came out for me, I just grinded scrims and learned the game and learned how to play well. and kind of worked out because I got immortal like within a week of rank coming out. Another tip is do not solo queue. It is possible. You can solo queue. I personally solo queued to Radiant, but it was way harder than it needed to be. The reason why I say this is because about 40% of your games when you solo queue, I don't really think you have much of like an impact, right? The rest you do. The rest is all up to you if you play well or not. But 40% that's basically a coin flip. 50%, 50% you lose or win. So um, it's up to you guys. I would personally say play with a friend who you know is good or who also wants to improve. And that is one of the best ways you'll be able to climb in the long term. When finding someone to queue with, I recommend finding someone with the same mentality for improvement and plays the same amount as you. If you do not have anyone like this right now, you could go scrim and find a team. And I'm sure you will find a lot of people who you can queue with. Personally, this is how I find a lot of my friends. And yeah, I continue to queue with them even though I don't scrim anymore. This is a tip that a lot of people, even in Immortal, don't really use. Make sure you abuse the fuck out of a space that the enemy team gives you. So let me give you an example. Bind A showers. If the enemy team always gives it up, you can abuse the fuck out of that. This space makes it so you can execute a lot easier and have a higher chance of actually taking the site. It also gives you a free orb and it gives you a lot of information that you need. So example, you can have someone lurking in showers and have your team fake and a B execute and then you can get up behind them and take the point for free. The same thing is on defense. If you know that a team never really contests a certain spot on the map, push, get that space that the team is giving you. You can get free information and picks. It's actually crazy that a lot of people do not abuse this. I will probably make a video like just on this topic because it is a really big topic that I cannot fit into this video. My last tip would be play in comfortable spots. Find at least two places on attack and defense that you're comfortable with and then always play in these places. Do not let a teammate take this place from you. And if they do, just ask them politely, oh, can I play in a U-Haul or something like that, wherever your comfortable space is. It is a lot easier to become a master of two places than becoming a master of the entire map. I promise you, your win rate will go up drastically if you do this. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, if it does help you, just comment, 
and if you want more tips just comment also or tell me that you want more tips so you can subscribe to me on youtube or you can go follow me on twitch i stream every day in radiant well see you guys